Hello, and welcome to uh, day 12 of the 12 days of anime. We have reached the end, kind of, except I have two more videos, which I will post in the next few days. But today is Christmas, day 12 of the 12 days of anime. And for today, I want to talk about the anime community as a whole, and the stuff that I have gotten to be involved in related to it this year. First of all, I apologize if I miss anyone. There's a lot of stuff. I'm doing this uh, basically improv. I have a couple notes. So if I forget to you, then I do apologize. And I'm also not going to edit this much. So there might be some awkward pauses or me being unable to speak English. Because, well, that happens a lot when I record videos. All right. So... First of all, I wanted to give a shout out to everyone who like comments on my YouTube videos or replies to my tweets or we talk on Twitter and stuff like that. There's a Mulroff, I believe your name is. I really should write that down, so I am not completely uh, getting it wrong. Uh, there's Matthew Lucas. There are other people whose names I'm not remembering right now. But yeah, if you're someone who comments on my videos and just like talks to me on Twitter, I do appreciate that. I get involved in the anime community because I like talking to the people in it about it. Like, I see a show I think is cool. I want to tell people why. And then I see other people doing the same thing. And there's just so much uh, going on there. I've also gotten involved in a few uh, anime-related Discord servers. And those are just a lot of fun. Uh, there's Garfield's Sea Tactics. I should put a link to both of those in the description if I remember, which I probably won't. But yeah, if you want to join, I... Come join those, hang out with us. I have my own Discord server too, but it's pretty much dead. And since it's not really used for much, I might just get rid of it soon. So yeah, join C's or Garfield's or the other ones I'm in. Anime of Misfit I joined recently too, and that one seems cool. There's Mighty Pie server too, though that has a lot of stuff, so I don't really keep up there. But yeah, I was just like getting involved in the Discords, getting to know people, and I've made a number of friends through doing it. I also got to go to two anime conventions this year, uh, Akon and A-Fest, both in the Dallas, Texas area. I have a couple of friends who are kind of near there, so I go there every year, or at least I go to Akon every year, A-Fest was new. But it's just really cool being able to like hang out with these friends in person, because like internet friends are wonderful, I love you guys. But there's something different about actually being in the same room as a friend who you are normally separated by a thousand miles or 500 miles, or ever how many hundred miles it is. And it's cool how anime can bring people together across so many different walks of lives, or countries, or states, or all that. And yeah, it was, it's always cool to do that. And uh, let's see, there's uh, the two conventions. I've also had a chance to just watch anime together with friends, again, through the discords and stuff. And there are a lot of anime that are fun just to like, watch by yourself. But there are others that... I think are experienced best when you can experience them alongside other people. Like King's Game. I stand by my statement that that is the worst anime series I've ever completed. But I won't lie and say I did not have some fun watching it with uh, the friends. Because yes, it was a terrible show. But we could laugh at it together. Uh, my cousin today mentioned at our Christmas gathering, like, he was watching uh, Neo Yokia with one of his friends and had fun because of it. Like, yes, it's a stupid show, but because you're with friends, it makes the stupid things uh, fun. I've also been part of a lot of different collaborations and podcasts this past year, which have been awesome. I don't do collaborations to increase my views or subscribers or anything. If they do, great. But the reason I do them is because... I like just talking to friends about anime and other stuff we think is cool. Um, I was part of the Anime Nomad podcast. That's Sea Tactics, Avi, Conda Fiction. Uh, those three guys uh, started with me. And it's basically a podcast. Each of us would pick an anime. We'd watch it together over a month or so. And then we would do a podcast that would rotate among the different channels. Well, unfortunately, this kind of pretty much died after five months. It was still a great experience. And because of that, I've become good friends with the Sea Tactics and Hobby. Sadly, I don't talk to Condi much, but he's cool too. Even got to do a couple uh, podcasts with my brother Astro, who started watching with us. So that was awesome. I've also done my own podcast series, a.k.a. The Greatest Podcast Ever, because I thought that was a fun name, and that's kind of the name I give to my podcasts that don't fit anything else. 
So these I've done with a lot of different people. Uh, Crimson Assassin, I've done several of them with him, and those are great. Crimson is just a great guy. I love uh, talking about anime with him. So these podcasts are fun, and I also love leaving sarcastic comments on his videos and live streams. Those are also fun. And seeing his reactions when I tell him that he needs to finish Big Order. Or was it Super Lovers? Probably both. Uh, what are the collaborations? Oh, yes. Uh, doing the few of them that I did with uh, Drac, who has some numbers after his name. So I'll just call him Drac. He has a couple podcasts he runs, and I got to be part of a few of those. Uh, there are some Why We Geek uh, ones for, like, nostalgic anime. We also talked about World of Warcraft and Warcraft and Blizzard as a whole, which was a lot of fun because it's different than what I normally do. But it's also a subject I'm really interested in, so being able to talk with him about that and Art of Anime is also in those. Uh, Brenton, I think, was the other guy. I actually forget his name. I apologize for that. <laughs> and what was the other one? Oh, yes, Shadow Blazer. He was part of the nostalgic anime one, so that was cool. Um, as part of AKA the Greatest Podcast Ever, I also did a couple of them with Sea Tactics. We talked about uh, SAO, Planet With. Is that all? That might be all. I don't know. We'll, but and we will definitely do more. Was. Were there any other? Oh, yes, the Acura one I did with Everything Animated. That one was really cool because Everything Animated is a guy who I've known since I started doing YouTube like four or five years ago. He was like probably the first friend I made through doing this. And though we don't talk that often, we've started to again recently decide, hey, we should do a podcast finally after talking about it for years. We picked Acura because it was a cool retro title, and yeah, that was fun being able to talk with him. And now he's doing stuff with Sea Tactics, which I think is really awesome. I could get into the full story of how that came together, but yeah, that's probably not fit for this video. And lastly, I want to talk about the 12 Days of Anime, because if you're watching this, hopefully you care a little bit because this is part of the 12 Days, and yeah. Beyond just the whole community doing this together and it being fun that way, I've also been part of the behind-the-scenes stuff for it this year, helping uh, BB out with posting all the tweets, advertising videos. Yes, no, we're behind. We'll take care of that later. <laughs> but it's been uh, cool just to be able to contribute to it. I honestly had no idea how much work that was. I was thinking, oh, yes, you tweet things out. That must be like a few minutes a day. It can't be that hard. I was very wrong. I apologize for ever thinking that. BB, I have no idea how you did the past couple of years without help. So yeah, I and it was cool being part of what brings the anime community together. I even got to discover some new channels, some new people. Uh, there is Anime Misfit is one. Uh, there are a couple others I thought were pretty cool. Anime Uproar, I think that's what the guy's name is. And just seeing all the videos from people who I do follow and seeing like their highlights of the year or related things, those are cool too. So I hope that you... What was I saying? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed these 12 days of anime. Thank you to any of the new subscribers who I met because of this. I'm really grateful you decided to check out my channel and think it was worthwhile to subscribe. Or maybe you'll now unsubscribe because the 12 days is over. And whatever. Either way, thank you for watching. And I will see you whenever my next video is. I'm not quite sure where that will be. Anyway, thank you. And I will talk to you later.